Now we're back now from Tel Aviv and a major update back in the United States concerning threats against the Jewish community at Cornell University. New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced earlier today a person is in the custody of New York State Police. Authorities began investigating over the weekend after online posts threatened students in a Jewish dorm and the university's kosher dining hall. Governor Hochul visited the campus to tell Jewish students, quote, they are not alone. And will resist. At a high school in Mechanicsville, Virginia, someone painted a swastika on the football field. Authorities in Connecticut are investigating a swastika drawn on a high school campus in Stamford. It is the second time the symbol has been found there since October 7th. Today, the director of the FBI testified before Congress on the rise of these anti-Semitic incidents throughout the United States. This week, the Justice Department announced more than $38 million in grants to help local communities combat anti-Semitism. Joining us now to discuss the troubling rise of anti-Semitism in the U.S., former Democratic Congressman of Florida, Ted Deutsch, who is the CEO of the American uh, Jewish Community. Uh, Congressman, thanks for joining us. So according to the ADL, anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. have increased nearly 400 percent since October 7th. Uh, today, FBI Director Ray said these incidents are reaching historic levels. Um, what do you make of it all? Well, this is a really important moment, Jake, for the country and for the world. This is not just painting swastikas as, as terrible as that is. This is not just painting Jewish stars on the homes of Jews, as concerning as that is. This is a straight line from what happened on October 7th when Hamas terrorists killed 1,400 people, men, women, children, raping women, killing babies, uh, burning them alive, decapitating uh, the people they killed and capturing it all on GoPro cameras. It's a straight line from what happened that day to where we are today. And that line takes us through professors on college campuses who viewed what happened on October 7th, that horrific massacre, as resistance. It, it's a straight line between October 7th and what we've seen on Cornell's campus, what we've seen on other campuses across the country, what we've seen all around the world with people screaming, kill the Jews, gas the Jews, F the Jews. This, this is a moment where we all have to sit up, Jews and non-Jews alike, and recognize the threat to the Jewish community that exists as a result of people standing on the side of Hamas terrorists who massacred 1,400, uh, and standing on the side of civilization against those Hamas terrorists. That's the moment that we're in. So and it requires leadership everywhere, at every level of universities and government and business. So a lot of the anti-Semitism that was public and a lot of the threats um, were from the right uh, for years and years, uh, you know, beginning with uh, the Trump era when, when uh, that crowd uh, began feeling emboldened and began um, saying the quiet part out loud. But what you're talking about, quite honestly, a lot of it's from the left. A lot of it, quite honestly, is from the left. And I'm wondering if you think the party to, the party to which you belong, the Democratic Party, uh, is outspoken enough. If you think uh, the Democratic House leader, Hakeem Jeffries, is outspoken enough. If you think um, Democratic leaders from coast to coast are outspoken enough, not just saying that they decry anti-Semitism, but in calling out specific individuals in the Democratic Party who espouse what you're talking about. Uh, yes, Jake, that is exactly what should happen. We have, we have seen the playbook that, uh, that's being used that, for example, brings in the Democratic Socialists of America as allies. And when DSA candidates who run as Democrats or affiliate with the Democratic Party, talk about intifada, intifada, which is code for, not code, it reflects right back to what happened earlier this century when a thousand Israelis were slaughtered 
as a result of suicide bombs on buses in cafes and bars and clubs. That's a call for violence. When they say Palestine from the river to the sea, you know this, you're there. From the river to the sea means no Israel. It means the, exactly what Hamas wants, killing all the Jews. So every democratic official should sever any ties with the DSA and the role that they play contributing politically to this horrific uptick in anti-Semitism. The same thing is true, Jake, as you may recall, uh, I called out a colleague on the floor of the House who started using some of the same rhetoric. We have to be clear wherever anti-Semitism comes from, right or left, we've got to call it out wherever we see it. That includes in politics, it includes universities, it includes businesses. There can be zero tolerance for this Jew hatred that has put so many at risk right now in America. Just for the record, you were talking about Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib, and the debate was about whether or not to fund the Iron Dome that I have seen in the eight days I've been here stop so many Hamas rockets from killing so many Israeli civilians. Civilians. Congressman Ted Deutsch, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. The controversial